you want to start with the other side when removing the screws from the mass fairing. The reason for that is because if you attempt to remove all the screws from this side, you will be successful. However, the mass fairing is not going to be unsecure because this side holds nut plates for the other side. So then when you go to the other side and unsecure a couple of screws, the side's just going to pop out. Boom! And it's, it's not going to be healthy for the metal. Um, so if you want to be really in control of the situation, trust me and start on the other side first. Let's go do that. Okay, so we're gonna remove the mass fairing. One thing is you're gonna need a 10 foot ladder. Preferably, you'll have four of them. There's reasons why. Uh, if you gotta remove the blades, if you have to do a blade coning or hinge check, um, if, if you're servicing helicopters, you definitely want at least four 10 foot ladders when you're working with the, uh, the Robertson helicopters. Anyway, so I'm on the ladder. One thing to note I usually stand with one foot right here and one foot right there right so you don't want to step forward of this line and you don't want to put a whole lot of pressure right here however you can stand right in this area um, but not forward that's 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 fiberglass you'll crack that so so right about here on these screws okie dokie it's a little inconvenience to time lapse here so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I always have a backup plan when I'm working up here too. Like, you know, if I just get unstable, then maybe I'll grab the pitch link. Maybe I'll grab here. I wouldn't grab onto this strut fairing. It's not super duper sturdy. Um, but, you know, you're up here on a ladder. You're not in a very intense position, but you still, your feet are spread apart on different surfaces. Just have a backup plan. That's a good tip. Another tip when you're working on the mass fairing is remove your top screws, remove your bottom screws. So that way you just have the trailing edge and the middle screws. And I slowly, you know, remove the trailing edge screws on the top and bottom to where really I just have these middle screws holding it back. So that way, as I remove these screws, the sail pulls back slowly. I'll show you what I mean. So I have these removed and I have the bottoms removed. You guys can't see those. So I'm gonna to begin to remove the trailing edge screws on the top and bottom. So now all the screws are removed on the top. All of the screws are removed on the trailing edge and on the bottom. We just have these middle screws and the trailing edge has already lifted away from the mating surface on the other side. So watch this. Now it comes out a little more. So now it's a controlled opening of the cell. Now there's going to be a gotcha. There's channels in there. 
and it might get hung up on the channels and you might have to give it a the, the cell you might have to give it a little pull aft to free up some of the channels on the inside and excuse me there's doublers riveted to the inside of here and those doublers are fitted in between some metal on the inside so that's what I'm talking about all right so we've opened up that cell nice and easy you want to avoid where it dimples in the metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And just let this sucker come open real easy. All right. So that's what's gonna be inside. And see, you see those doublers there, riveted to the inside. And you see here where those doublers go through these channels. And up there. And so those doublers, you'll have to give it a little tug to free them sometimes. And then you also see right here, nut plates that's what I was saying if we took all the screws on the other side these screws would still be holding this on and then when you came on this side and you removed your trailing edge screw you would get a real boing effect as this cell or rather as that cell flew that way I hope you guys understand that anyway let's go on and do the other side So things to know here is if you open this door, you now we're on the left side of the helicopter. If you open that door, then you can step there, right? You can also step there, right? Not too forward, because that's fiberglass and you'll crack that. But they're basically gonna remove all of those screws and the only thing to be aware of is the one screw that doesn't fit the pattern right there that's not going to come out and we're not taking the cell completely off I left one screw there one screw in the middle one screw on the top so the cell is just politely propped. All right, so we'll leave it just like that. It's open so we can inspect it. And now we're going to remove the doghouse as we call it in the field. 